A bill banning assault weapons in Washington state is making significant headway in the legislature. House Bill 1240 already passed in the House and will go before a Senate committee tomorrow morning. Krem 2's Amanda Rowley joins us live in the studio to explain the impact of if this bill passes. This bill to ban assault weapons in Washington state passed the House two weeks ago. That's a big deal because that's the first time a proposal like this has passed a chamber of the Washington legislature. House Bill 1240 would prohibit the manufacture, importation, distribution, sale or offer for sale of any assault weapon in the state. The legislation was brought forward at the request of Governor Jay Inslee and Attorney General Bob Ferguson. They say this is necessary legislation to make Washington safer. When the bill passed the House, the Attorney General released a statement saying the House put public safety above the interest of the gun lobby, adding the sale of what he calls weapons of war must stop. But owner of sharpshooting Jeremy Ball isn't convinced. There's no statistical analysis that shows that there's any correlation between a reduction in gun violence and the banning of semi-automatic rifles. He opposes this bill not just as a business owner, but out of concern for law-abiding citizens who might violate this proposed legislation unknowingly. The wording in this bill is exactly the reason why people are going to find out later down the road that they can't pass guns on to family members, that they can't inherit things. To be clear, the bill does not prohibit the possession of assault weapons, but it does prohibit transferring them. The term assault weapon characterizes a wide range of weapons in the language of the bill. Ball pulled a few of those guns for us to show the wide range of firearms the bill restricts. This is a shotgun. These are typically used as like home security devices. This is a Ruger 1022. This is an AR-15. Specifically, this is obviously what the legislature is after is any gun that looks like this because this is so sweeping will make up 30 to 40 percent of our business and absolutely have an impact on us as an organization going forward. Could you keep it open at that point? We hope so. Among those in favor of the bill is Representative Marcus Riccelli from Spokane. He has not been able to return our request for comment today about his support for this legislation. Now, the Senate Committee on Law and Justice is holding a public hearing on the bill tomorrow at 8 a.m. Amanda Rowley, Krem 2 News.